got something. I do have something. Where'd it go? So I, I with my addiction of mobile tech, um, I have, make sure I get it above the banner. Um, it's the new, and I never pronounce their, their company name right, so I'm sure they'll contact us and tell us. Um, I think it's, it's Adonit. I don't know, A-D-O-N-I-T. It's their new Jot script. So it's a Bluetooth stylus that uh, works extremely well with any kind of iOS device. Um, and it actually, because it's Bluetooth, it can do palm rejection, it can figure out pressure, um, it can do, it, can, it, it slices, it dices, it, it writes. <laughs> it just not with ink. Um, but I, I've actually found it really useful because unlike most of the other um is it styluses, styli, whatever. Sure. Um, <laughs> um, it actually has an extremely, extremely small um, fine tip to it. It's it's not the disc like some of their other like, other like um, this one. Jot devices. Oh, there's um, actually exam- huge- there's actually an example Sorry. on the screen of the little disc. And I remember you showing it off before on the show too. Yeah, this has an. I mean, this is a, pretty much the equivalent of a, of a ballpoint pen. Mm-hmm. Which is it actually makes it comfortable to write with, and the the plastic disc on their other device. If you're in in a quiet room taking notes, you can kind of hear the plastic against the plastic screen on your tablet, making like this click 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 noise every time you lift and and as you're writing, um, which happens way more often than you think it would. Pretty much every word to word or letter to letter, you're you're kind of tapping along. Um, so this device is really nice. They do have, um, I included a link in the show notes too, um, all their apps that are that are Jot ready. Um, so there, there's obviously because it's Bluetooth, you actually have to, there, the app has to be enabled to leverage the Bluetooth side. If the Bluetooth, if, if it's not Jot ready, it won't be able to do things like the palm rejection and pressure sensitivity. It obviously will still write on the screen. But if, if the minute that you rest your palm on the screen, it's going to leave lines and draw and, and kind of alter your drawing. Um, so this that's one thing that I really like about this brand is they have they have a lot of um, technology that they've included and their SDK is free. So if you want to include their technology in your app, all you do is send them a request and they send you all of the stuff you need. And from what I hear, it's throw a couple of lines of code in your code and all of a sudden you can use their technology. So I'm pretty impressed with the device so far. It does, unlike the other one that has kind of a dock that recharges it, um, this one actually has you unscrew the top and it has a triple A battery. Uh, Sorg, I think we were talking about it before the show. You know, is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Mm -hmm. You don't need an extra USB device to bring along with you when you think about it if you have a tablet and you're not carrying something that's USB that has a USB port on it um, you'll, you'll be okay but you will need extra triple A batteries so I guess it would be nice if it was both like put a triple A battery in there but then also be able to recharge that battery via your USB would be even cooler I mean this is actually also backed I forgot it's, it's actually backed by Evernote which I find odd because they tout how it works with penultimate and penultimate doesn't have the API set for palm rejection, but it has pressure sensitivity. So I find myself not wanting to use actually Evernote's app. There, there's a couple apps I really liked. Uh, Good notes was one of them. I think notability might be another one. Um, but yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed using it for, I've been using it for about a week now. Um, and I really, really enjoy using it. I'm trying Note Shelf is one that I've used. Um, I've tried Penultimate and Good Notes. So, yeah, go out and buy it. And I included the link in the show notes for the Amazon site because I actually ordered it on Amazon so I could get a two-day Prime. 